Greetings, YouTube. I have two goals in this relatively short video. The first is to talk about the inflation of the five-star crystal and how much Kabam is trying to justify something that is honestly just a really bad deal for players and makes people feel even more so that if they can't spend a bunch of money, they can't keep up. Uh, but the second is just to kind of give you a perspective on what this same amount of money will give you if you are patient and you give yourself enough of an opportunity to save for November, particularly for Cyber Monday, which is coming up, gosh, very, very soon. You just you just never know <laughs> when it's going to, uh, to come up until it's here because time just goes by. I don't know about you, but time just goes by so, so freaking fast. Um, okay, so here's the deal. We got the in-game inbox message, right? We got uh, we got the message that talked about the hero or villain bundle. Now, the reason why I missed it is that normally if it's not in the unit store, it automatically pops up, of course, in the in-game uh, inbox. But here's, uh, here's the deal. It is just this icon. In the middle, you can see Spider-Man, Stark Spidey versus Omega Red with 22 hours left to the left of my crystals. And so when you click it, it pops up. This bundle, and I, I'm pretty sure I said this in the offer grade review before I uh, was alerted to where to find it. This bundle is a $50 bundle. This bundle is a featured five-star crystal and a thousand six-star shards with some gold for uh, 50 bucks. The only time that this would not be $50 is if they make it like, I don't know, uh, 4,000 units and available to free-to-play players. I have no idea why they chose this format. I guess it's because it's the choose one or two, and you can't do that in the unit store itself. So for a long time, they would just give us this format when it came to units. But if it was actual cash, you would just get the crystal in, uh, in the unit store. But... YouTube, this is the same couple months that for 10 bucks when you were at level 60, or if you weren't at level 60, you could still buy it and wait. You get a five-star basic crystal. I know it's not a featured crystal with the good guy or bad guy champions like you can see, but it's still a five-star basic crystal for 10 bucks with bonuses. It is almost November of 2019. I have pulled up right in front of me, I know you can't see this, the November 2018 All Father Odin's Vault for Cyber Monday. So if you think that I'm being too harsh regarding what $100 should give you in regards to a five-star, keep in mind, this would be different if this bundle was like in February. I'm not going to talk about July 4th or Cyber Monday in February, but I am going to talk about it because it's freaking October 14th. Now... When you were allowed to purchase the $100 bundle, and this could change because July 4th, as I predicted back in, I don't know, May or June, for the first time was tiered based off of progressions. I expect that to be the same way on July 4th of 2019. I expect the best deals to be Cavalier and the second best uncollected, so on and so forth. But for everybody, because this wasn't tiered, you had a chance to purchase for 100 bucks a five-star basic crystal, 15,000 tier five basic callus fragments, or one-third of a tier five basic, and... 2,500 six-star shards. So by itself, when you compare the six-star shards, it was one-fourth of a six-star instead of 10%. It was the same five-star crystal, even though this one's featured. And it was 15,000 tier five basic, which of course, instead of the tier five basic, you just get gold. Keep in mind, I am just comparing this deal to what you got for $100 by ignoring the obvious fact that on those days, you also get the 3,100 units. So I'm not even factoring in the unit to comparison. I'm just factoring in the items by itself. And you ask yourself on paper, which one is the evolution? Well, clearly it's the Cyber Monday 2018 one where you get a third of a tier five basic and one fourth of a six star along with a five star crystal. We should not be going far, far backwards in this game, particularly so close to Cyber Monday. And yet that's exactly where we are. And I owe it to the community as somebody that grades every single offer and talks about a comparison between the past and the present and the future to just tell you 
that Kabam is really doing a disservice to the community by doubling the price of this in 2019. If this was $49.99, I wouldn't give it an A, but I'd probably give it like a B minus to a B, and particularly the ceiling of the bad guy or villain bundle is the ceiling of a B to B plus with even a ceiling of an A if you can pull one of the best champions. And uh, I, I do think when you're talking about the villain bundle, the ceiling is an A because of uh, really two champions, Ghost and Omega Red, Venom and Venom and Ducker, certainly honorable mentions. But actually, if this was 50 bucks, the floor is so much higher of the hero bundle because, again, I want to point out that there's at least five, if not six champions in this crystal counting Nick Fury that could be game changers straight off. There's Domino, right? There's Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. There's Aegon, Blade, Captain America, Infinity War, and Hyperion. That's incredible. But the problem is, it's just way too expensive for the game. This is where six stars are now so common. You know, it's been over a year now since six stars have been introduced that it's just really sad that uh, this is the price tag for this deal. It should be $49.99, if not $39.99. Or if you want to convert it into units, it should be like 1,500 units. That would be the best deal for the player. Even though I'm tempted to get this because I am hunting so badly to either dupe my Nick Fury or, of course, get Aegon, I just can't justify the $100 price tag, and I don't want to be uh, irresponsible, and I don't want to say this is a bad deal but then get it myself. I don't want to be a hypocrite. So I'm not going to be purchasing this offer, but I am going to use this offer as a means to remind you that the value of this should be going down, and Kabam is trying to pull a fast one on us, especially about a month before Cyber Monday. So save your uh, units, save your dis disposable income for November. You're going to get so much better of a value for it, even if you're not Cavalier. But I would also encourage you to kind of make that push to at least become uncollected before Cyber Monday in November. And if not, certainly uh, if you can push for Cavalier as well. So there you have it, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and good luck to everybody. If you did purchase this, you know, I hope you didn't get a $100 Falcon or a $100 Doctor Strange, etc. Civil Warrior, because that would just, that'd be a bad day.